Next, I want to talk about this because I'm really excited about these because I think this is probably one of the best Adidas collaborations I've seen in recent history. So um, this Instagram page that I've been following for a while called Heart Copy have collaborated with Adidas on a really interesting pair of shoes. They're called the Adidas BW Army Collab and they look very similar to a pair of shoes that most of you would be aware of um, by Margiela. I think they're called, uh, basically they're Army Sneaker, but I think they're typically called the GAT, G-A-T um, Sneaker. But it's a similar sil silhouette from a Margiela, um, what do you call it, Army shoe or just a conventional Army trainer which essentially looks like a samba without the long tongue and usually has a bit of a suede um, toe box at the front. Um, really nice silhouette, really nice shape, um, very easy to wear. And this Heart Copy collaboration is amazing. Heart Copy is a really cool Instagram page where essentially they document like, you know, streetwear and sneaker culture, as you can see here. And they do it in a really cool way where they have these, every post has this text and blurb where they go into excruciatingly really cool detail about the shoe itself um you know instead of talking about it in shitty blurbs like hypebeast does unfortunately they actually spend some time writing um eloquently and really well about the shoes themselves and obviously documenting all of it and i think they also produce a book I, I guess the book is similar to that guy i forgot his name but that french guy who used to make a book where he documented those of hype culture stuff but i guess they do it in probably a less glitzy hyper whatever way and they just you know put it together how they put it together but it's obviously really well done um the art direction on the instagram page is really great i've kind of been checking out their page you know from afar here and there so it's cool to see adidas recognizing them because you know i'd assume they're quite an independent you know thing maybe it's run by only a couple of people um so to see a brand like adidas reach down and collaborate with somebody like this is absolutely quite cool and obviously goes to show that they've definitely got their finger on the pulse so as you can see it's a mostly white sneaker and it features the classic sort of like army um toe box here at the front which is kind of a split toe where you've got this nice suede counter at the top and then you've got this nice gum outsole on the outside and everything else is white with i guess white stitching as well the inside has leather insole which i've always been a big fan of um i, I prefer that especially if you've got an all white shoe having it be like cotton or mesh is horrible because they usually stain easier but leather although sometimes it can be a bit uncomfortable actually ends up kind of looking better with wear and tear and stuff so i quite like those i also love the fact bonus points as well this is just a pet peeve of mine but i love the fact that they relace them that might be because whoever's behind hard copy might be an OG retail head like me, right? Like my, my have worked in retail for far too long, relacing shoes and whatever, you know, doing standards on shop floors and stuff. So this is something that I always dislike when it comes to sneakers. They just have the shoes, take them straight out of the box and take a picture of them. This has obviously been relaced. As you can see here, the laces go that way over and over and under, over and under. If I'm being a bit nitpicky, because this is the instep, really this lace should be on the outside there. That should be under. Your laces should always be over on the right and then over on the left. You know, you know. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. But I like the fact that they've relaced the shoes. That's a bonus point for me. Um, again, I love the silhouette. I love the little um, is it an overstitch, I think, or chain stitch here on the top here. This little red sign. I think that might is that might be part of their logo or brand. I'm not too sure. What's the actual logo on their site? Okay, cool. Yeah. It's this, yeah. So I like the little tie-in with the little stitch underneath their logo name there, right, hard copy. You've got the fucking, you know, the chain stitch there going on. And then you've also got the same thing going on here on the shoe. So that's a nice little tie-in. And then, yeah, I like this. Is that a suede heel counter as well? Is that new book or suede? They look really nice. I love them at the back. People couldn't nurse their shoes. It's fucking hilarious. I don't like the sole. <laughs> Everyone is like, okay. I really, I think I like them more because they're just, they're just plain and minimal. And they're very versatile. Like I could easily wear them with most of my outfits without being too loud and showy. Like look how good they look from the from the bottom from the bottom. From the top looking down though. That looks really cool. I don't know. They just look, you know, easy to wear, very versatile. For me anywhere at least. Um they'll go with a lot of stuff that I wear. The, the the gum outsole is nice. I've always loved gum anyway. Gum for me is one of my favorite combos. Gum and like an ice sole. So that gum outsole looks fucking brilliant. I'm a big fan of it. Obviously the toe box, as you can see, it looks really great. And the suede would wear in really, really cool over time. So I'm a big fan of them. But when I was checking out the shoe, I was thinking to myself, why does this silhouette remind me of something? Because I didn't know at first that this shoe is actually an original Adidas. This Adidas 
BW army shoe is actually part of their like lineup. It's not like something that they just did to copy the no Margiela or the army shoe. That's why I originally thought I originally thought they copied the Margiela shoe. So I look, I was thinking, I was rustling my head. What does this remind me of? Then I remembered. Oh yeah, it kind of reminds me of the Busanets. Do you remember these? These are the fucking one of the first Adidas skateboarding shoes that I bought back in the day. Um, a Busanets, right? Which essentially, um, I, I think that the skater's name is Dennis Busanets as well, right? Really cool, really, really great skater. And this is his first pro shoe with Adidas. And essentially, it takes inspiration from like the Samba or I guess like an indoor soccer shoe. And you kind of got that same sort of like outsole that you have on that army shoe. But then you have this extended tongue. I think maybe Copper Mondial, maybe the inspiration. But the only thing I didn't like about these when I first bought them is that the toe box is really slim and really narrow and it makes your toes kind of crunch up. But at first, I thought the outsole or the mold, the tooling for the um, BW that added that shoe was taken for the Busanets. Then I thought, you know what? It couldn't be them. Maybe it's this model, which most of you probably wouldn't be aware of. It's called the AS250 from Adidas, which is another model that features a similar sort of outsole, kind of a similar type of toe box. But then again, it kind of is a bit more flat and more of a zero drop, as you can see there. Whereas this hard copy comes up a little bit more on the heel. So I decided to check again. And I thought to myself, maybe it's a combination of the Special. Maybe it's a Special. Maybe that's where the fucking outsole comes from or the tooling because I couldn't imagine Adidas kind of starting building this shoe from the ground up from scratch. But that might be what happened. They might actually have built this up from scratch again and got it from the archives. I'd love to know how hard copy came about this model. Did Adidas propose this model to them to collaborate on because they're going to try and build on the success of the Adidas Samba the last couple of years and introduce this to the market? Or did hard copy go into the Adidas archives and pull this out and say, no, we want to do this collaboration. I wonder, I'd love to know what happened, actually happened. Um, but there's also some more pictures here. Oh no, I think we've seen those pictures already posted on Instagram of hard copy two, showing some more information there. Hard copy Adidas details pending, but we haven't got any more information regarding the release date or how much there'll be. So it's pretty great to see this collaboration again, um, you know, Adidas reaching back and working with a smaller company. Um, let's actually read the article here. It says, following the well-received tease, hard copy co-owners Timothy Soon and Sam Leroy have shared a closer look at the up-and-coming BW, producing collaboration with Adidas, as well as a few exclusive details on what to expect. In a conversation with Adidas, with Hypebeast, oh shit, there are more details. Okay, cool. Leroy explained that the collaboration came together almost as if it was fated, with one of the spontaneous encounters with a contact named Hugo in London a few years ago, leading to several others that would see the, con the concept accelerate in the right t terms as for the design Leroy shared that so somebody called Hugo is the one that put it into place big up Hugo nice to see um, according to, as for the design Leroy shared that we wanted to conserve the German army sneaker the GAT the GAT classic form not de deviating from the gummy sole and the two-tone uppers in any way the only tweaks we've made were the pull away um, the typical suede T toe instead of pushing Nubuck okay oh so it's Nubuck I thought it was suede okay this will wear in really fucking well then okay that's lovely I like that. That Nubuck edition has definitely got my dick hard. Um, Nubuck on the panel. Originally, we spoke about the more exotic materials like walls, but the end result was a really buttery Nubuck that I'm in love with. On top of this, we placed some asymmetric hard copy branding on the left and right feet for a nice personal touch. Leroy further expressed that the shoe ties into what hard copy is all about, and that exemplifies the mission of providing context of footwear products new and old. Love that. He shared that the GAT is a silhouette with such rich history that is very often overlooked. We hear a lot about replicas, but the fact that this is a collaboration with Adi that showcases the real original GAT love it it's funny though he says that because most likely because of the reception the shoe got online because everybody was fucking creaming their pants when they saw it it's gonna get replica to fuck they're gonna fucking the rep machines are already revving that's a funny thing you know so <laughs> we'll definitely see replicas of the replica very soon Re looking forward he ad added that hard copy aims to take a role of culture catalog while also contributing and developing the culture through product launches activations and more i love it as for the release of the hard copy BW Army, Leroy didn't share much detail on the price or the drop mechanisms, but it's teased that the shoe will be launching in March and they'll be free to lucky people around the world. So they're going to give away free pairs. Nice. 
hopefully they do a real in-store release because there's something about the page that i like that kind of harkens back to the, the good old days i hope they do a pop-up shop release thing like an actual old school queue up type of situation that's gonna be pretty sick i'd love to see that might see some old faces back in the queues again if he does that because i think that shoe's gonna bring out all the fucking old freaks like myself to go buy some of these books or some of these shoes sorry so there's more pictures there of course i think from the guys <clears throat> You see the boxes of the shoes. You see them lacing them up there. And then the, obviously the picture in front of the box as well. It looks pretty cool. I love it. I love the shoe. Can't wait to purchase them. Hopefully when they do eventually drop. And then we'll see when that happens. But big up Hot Copy. Big up Adidas for reaching out to smaller brands or smaller platforms that are just getting a name, you know, putting a name out there. And obviously giving everyone else their hope. They do have to be some big wig to get these opportunities. And obviously, whoever that Hugo person was for is reaching out. That's almost sick to see.